Hello and welcome today, we will discuss an interesting topic about how much physical space the gold in the world takes up. About half of all the gold in the world has been extracted from mines. However, gold is not only found in mines. In fact, gold is quite abundant in nature and is mostly found in rivers, seas, and other natural sources. So, how much space does all the gold in the world take up? Firstly, it is estimated that approximately 190,040 tons of gold have been extracted worldwide to date. What is the total volume of this gold? One ton of gold has a volume of approximately 1.4 cubic meters. This means that the total volume of all the gold in the world is approximately 265,056 cubic meters. This is a quite large number. The volume of all the gold in the world would cover a football field. Yes, you heard it right, the total volume of gold would cover the area of a football field. Now, remember that approximately half of all the gold in the world has been extracted and the rest is still in nature. This means that the remaining gold could also be as large as a football field. If the total volume of gold is really that big, then where is all this gold stored? Especially if we think about gold coins and bars, it seems like a significant challenge to fit all this gold into a small space. Actually, most of the gold is stored by central banks and private institutions worldwide. Since gold has a high value in a small volume, it can carry a significant amount of value without taking up much physical space. Therefore, gold is not only extracted from mines but also carefully stored. The gold vaults of banks are the most common method used for storing and protecting gold. In addition, the gold trade worldwide is also a significant industry. Gold can be bought and stored by investors. This results in some of the gold being found in homes, offices, and even museums worldwide. In conclusion, all the gold in the world may cover a football field, but it is typically stored and protected carefully and carries a high value in a small volume. Gold seems to continue to remain as one of the most valuable metals in history. I hope this video has provided you with an interesting perspective on the dimensions and space of gold in the world. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and see you soon.